throughout many centuries, whether it be ancient Israel, Second Temple Judaism, or even the Protestant Reformation up to the present, there have been people who have struggled with external and internal matters of faith. For many of the prophets of Israel, they saw the people go through different outward matters of religion, giving a performance, making the right sacrifices, doing the presumed right thing as stated by the Torah, yet internally their hearts were far from God. Yeshua himself, in his criticism of the Pharisaical leaders, Matthew 23, criticized how many of them were just putting on a religious show. They were really only interested in performing externals. Inside, they were to be regarded as spiritually dead. And even in more contemporary times, how many people just go through outward religious motions? They go to church. They go to religious functions, but internally, they really don't have a relationship with their creator. They have not experienced the new birth. Now, I know for certain that uh, for many people in today's Messianic community, and it's not just non-Jewish believers being exposed to their faith heritage in the scriptures of Israel, but even Jewish believers who want to partake of their heritage going back to Sinai in more tangible ways, that all of us have been prompted, what does Shabbat mean to you? What do the appointed times mean to you? What does kosher mean to you? And our attention can be focused more on externals than on internal character formation. And in those who identify as the Torah movement especially, finding a balance between external actions and internal heart motivations can be particularly difficult. Uh, as I have been going through the Sermon on the Mount, and this is taking more time than I have wanted it to take because I've got to be very specific with what I say. Uh, our family's had a lot of experiences uh, over the years. Today's Messianic community can be very strong on external things, but not as strong on internal character formation. And there has to be a balance between the two. Uh, it's not as though our faith is one which is solely ethereal and, well, it's my heart which matters. That's why I'm not going to be concerned about having any kind of Sabbath rest. Uh, and then you wonder, why is that person suffering from lack of rest, right? Uh, and is, ex is on the edge of exhaustion. So God does expect his people to take external matters seriously. Actually, the most significant debates which are taking place right now, where the bulk of problems are found, is over human sexuality, which includes both internal and external factors. God expects his people to control themselves physically. Yet, the cause of so many violations in that area occur internally in the heart. Do you look at a man or a woman as a human being made in God's image? Or are they just some kind of plaything? As we move into the future, and I can tell you, 2024 is going to be a very challenging year because I myself am experiencing a shift in my own ministry toward more of these major ethical matters. Are Torah people concerned about character transformation? I have no doubt that many of them are. I have no doubt that it also grieves many people who are studying the Torah portions. They want to have a foundation in Moses' teaching, but yet they wonder, you know, what happened to what Yeshua talked about as the weightier matters? Not that different external matters are unimportant, but we can have a tendency to focus so much on externals that the internal of love, 
grace, mercy, treating other people with honor and respect. Some of the significant points of Yeshua's decisive interpretation of the law of Moses, of the Torah, in Matthew chapters 5 through 7 can get overlooked. We need to be much more concerned about matters of character transformation because it will not only lead to more stability in our Messianic faith community, which we do lack in many sectors, but it will also lead to us being more effective in the mission and work that the Lord has for us in the days ahead.